First up today, <laughs> from predicting Oscar winners to predicting natural disasters, psychic Gary Spivey has amazed audiences for years. Experience his larger than life personality yourself while he's live here in Las Vegas. That's right, but we've got him first. <laughs> Gary Spivey is live in studio. How Thanks. are you, buddy? Great, guys. Hey. I'm glad to be here. So let's talk about this gift that you've had. I mean, you've been on the radio now here in Las Vegas. Uh, since 1994 on KLUC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, KLUC. And yeah. you've been sharing your gift for years. How did you realize you had this power? Well, it, it, the, the better question would be to how did I not realize it? Because, see, I was born psychic. I was just a little psychic kid growing <laughs> up in North Carolina, and I could just see things and know things. I would tell my parents, this is going to happen. They'd go, what? And then it would happen. They'd go, oh, you know. And so, <laughs> so finally, they would just, don't ask him if you don't want to know. And so, so I always just knew things. It was so easy for me to be psychic because I was just naturally psychic. It's a lot of kids are, though. It's amazing. How, how do you experience it? Like, is it a, is it a thought? Is it a vision? Well, uh, it, it can be all of the above. And so everybody's psychic a, a little bit. Like with you, you have a psychic abilities with gut intuition. Women usually will have this gut intuition thing. And sometimes you'll oh, feel yeah. it and you'll go, uh-oh. And you'll know when to back off and you'll know kind of who's who in the room. And so you know that, right? Mm -hmm. You got that thing. And, and so, and sometimes you have little dreams and you'll have little things in your head where you'll have a dream and then you'll try to put together what it means, you know. And it's so, tough. Yeah. Yes, so I have a big head. There's a lot of dreams yeah, up here. No, yeah, but I see. So everybody, everybody has a psychic ability and so that's the, the great thing because I love doing live shows. I'm doing this great live show this Saturday at the Palms and uh, it's mm. from uh, 8 o'clock, you know, and, uh, and we're going to be there Saturday night and I teach other people how to use their gifts and how to tap into that and how to really receive other spiritual gifts because if you got spiritual gifts, it's a little bit like cheating. It's easier. Life is easier and I think everybody needs that these days. Uh, no yeah. question. Absolutely. A lot of negativity. If you can get rid of the negativity, I teach everybody how to meditate and do it in a fun way. And so I, I, I teach people how to use their stuff. And so, uh, but I answer questions, talk to dead people, uh, you know, <laughs> well, well, all those things. Wait a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, hook you up with your <laughs> angels, get rid of your demons. I'm, I'm probably the most famous demon remover in the world. Wow. And so, and what a what a title, right? And so, but I can get rid of people's dark energies and little little things. We don't have any demons here in the studio, do we? Uh, you, uh, let's see. Um, well, let's see. He, I think he. I think he's got demons on his feet. I'm yeah, not sure. Oh, so, <laughs> a good vision. Fact. <laughs> and he's a comedian. I love it. I think so. <laughs> uh, so you're you're a psychic, you're a medium, and you're a spiritual healer. You right. Fine as all three. Right. What is what, What's the difference between them? Well, yeah. well the psychic means I can see things that are going to happen. Like okay. I see. Um, I see a nice trip coming. Uh, uh, for you. Oh, I hope so. And so, and this is a nice little trip, and and you're you're. It's sort of been thought out, but you're not decided, but it'll happen. Okay. And so that's coming up in the next. I don't know, a little bit here. Okay. And so I feel a trip, and with you, I see really really good things and changing things around and going into organization. You're organizing stuff. And so I just see you doing that, and it makes you happy when you finally get your junk together and organize. I don't know if it's a, uh, the kitchen or the this or the, but I see you organizing. Gary, and that's so. every single night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but you're attacking it like, so I'll read okay. things psychically that are, are just sort of little things. Yeah. Or they, I can read big things, you know, like I make life decisions for people, business things. I read a lot of Wall Street people, uh, you know, and so I, I, I can see things. I can also, a medium uh, would be someone who talks to dead people on the other side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that's what a medium is and so uh, and I, I do that all the time and then a spiritual healer would mean I would get rid of any dark energies in your body and as I do that healing energy rushes in and so like if I if I look at you can I do this yeah. okay and I, and uh, I am pulling a little dark energy off of your back because you get stressed back there a little lower and now your feet are tingly see it's you feel that it's kind of a weird feeling right I'm not sure what I mean. <laughs> yeah, it's so. always so it's always so unusual when I sit in front of a psychic because I'm what I'm thinking is, are you reading my mind? No. No, so, it's a different thing. Feel, we feel we feel mentally naked. Yeah, we well, are. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, but no, it's not like that. See, I don't I don't uh, read in minds. Way, yes. Yeah. No, I can see people naked. It's easy. Well. If I can see, you know, I can see <laughs> your. Well, I'm a medical intuitive. I can see your gallbladder. So if I can see your gallbladder, of course, you know. And so, but it's it's like that being psychic. But you're just used to it. You know, it's kind of like that. So when we see when we see you this weekend, is everybody 
per, get a personal reading or is it select well, people being pulled? That's the great thing about this room I'm doing at the Palms. Uh, I'm doing the lounge at the Palms. Mm -hmm. and, and this is a very intimate room where I'm in the middle and everybody's asking me questions all around oh, me. Wow. So this is this is where, you know, a lot of times I'm doing a room that's 2,000, 3,000 people. Mm -hmm. And this is my favorite venue because I love doing the Palms. Uh, it's, a, it's a small, intimate room. Tickets will sell out, so get your tickets. Yeah. And uh, it's like a, done by Stabile uh, Productions, Angela Stabile, my great friend. She has all the X shows around town. Mm -hmm. So she produces X and me. Hey, and so we're good. <laughs> and so, but but uh, this is this will be a fun show where everybody gets to pretty much ask me questions, you know, awesome. about things. And and the show becomes the audience. And so whatever the whatever their drama is is the is the show. It's so very every, interesting. Every different every Gary Spivey show is a different one. Different show. I never know. I have no nothing scripted. You just walk out and you answer the questions. And you you know, like I said, hook people with their angels, get rid of their demons, talk to dead folks, uh, and uh, get you your own spiritual gifts, which is important. One last question: Will you change your white shoes after Labor Day? No, that's all I have. My closet is all white clothes. I love it. Everything's white. There Everything's we go. white. Gary, it's great having you, buddy. Good to be here. Glad, glad to have you back in town. Be Thank amazed you. by Psychic Gary Spivey. It's this Saturday inside the Lounge Palms Casino Resort. Tickets start at $27. They can be purchased by calling the number on your screen. Gary's website's also right there, so make sure you log on to your interwebs and give it a click. Mm -hmm.